I'm Juicebox or the Juicebox Gazette, and I want to know why are you watching this channel? Actually, you don't want to know why. I just, just, I just appreciate that you're watching this channel. So uh, you don't, you don't need to tell me why you're watching it. But if it's nice, you can leave it in the comments. If it's mean, I guess you could do that too, because I guess any publicity's good publicity. Are free, you know that saying that people, whatever. This is a vlog that I do, and I'm wearing a hat because I want to be a journalist today. That's what I'm. Always, he wants to get on the bed so bad. I usually throw him up there, but he's really trying to get up there now. Nah. Anyways, while he does that, oh my mustache. I'm debating whether I should grow this thing out just to see. I haven't done that since I cut my dreads off, which was oh eight. When I grew this out last, okay, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've grown this out. I don't know. Bored? Don't have anything to do? Oh, why not? This doesn't grow out, sadly. Sadly, I'll never be a man with a beard unless it just one day. Maybe I'll ask Santa Claus this Christmas. Santa Claus, can I have a beard? I want to be a beard so I can be a grown-up. Maybe I'll get my wish. Anyways, as my dog, where do you go? Continues to try to jump on the bed. Today, woke up early. I've had to fight to wake up early today. I'm really trying to wake up at nine every day to, um, you know, get a workout in and uh, actually enjoy my day before I go to work. Uh, because I used to wake up like at twelve, and I'd have like an hour before I need to get ready for work. So I'm waking up at nine, working out and doing all that jazz in the morning. <clears throat> Sorry, and uh, it's been—it's actually been pretty good. I get a good workout in; it's nice. So I'm gonna start doing that. It also helps me prepare for anything else I plan on doing. Uh, tomorrow at work, I'm gonna be totally by myself <coughs> during my shift uh, because I'm going to what I like to call the scary haunted house building that we have. Like my my business, my business. Yeah, it's my business. The multi-million dollar business. No. Um, where I work, we have like this this main area, right? That where all our stuff's at, and then we have like this one little building across the street, and that one little building is like being remodeled, and uh, freaked me out the first time I went there. Like it's you go through this little door, and then you're walking in this little hallway, and you turn, and all these doors have like big red X's on there, like people have been murdered in there, and you're just like. <laughs> And then you hear these machines and it's like, you're like oh, I don't, I don't. so uh, it's pretty intense. And then and then it's just it's the chillest place in the world. Um, but still, I'm gonna be working there by myself tomorrow. Last time, I had supervision. Tomorrow, mm -mm, the ghosts are gonna be like, oh yeah, you ass fool, we gonna get you. I'm gonna be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. so that's gonna be weird. Um, but. I'll be able to uh, read, be reading and uh, YouTube stuff writing. I wrote a script last time I was in there. So I'm going to write another script tomorrow. Who knows? But I've been reading... Oh, man. I've been reading the Steve Jobs book. Because I leave it at work now. Now I leave it at work, so that is my reading material. Uh, and, oh, man. I've just... Reading that book has, like, re... What? Re-energized uh, my love... For for Steve Jobs and the company that is Apple, like everybody knows that I'm a big Apple fanatic. And everybody's like, oh, he's just he's following the trend. I've had Apple products since iPhone 3GS, and I've I've got every iPhone after that. Uh, I just love the product. I mean, it's simple. I mean, uh, I love simplicity and a great product, and it's it's what Apple does. And um, you know, I've gotten a Mac and I've done all that jazz too. But reading the book and seeing like what Steve Jobs went through and everything, the ups, the downs, and the quality and everything he put into his products and the people he selected to work on his products is amazing. It's, oh, it's, just, it's so awesome. I really highly recommend that you read the Steve Jobs biography. You can see how crazy he was, but you can see how great of a perfectionist he was as well. Uh, he just wanted everything to be perfect. The design, the software, everything that was into it. He wanted it to be the best it could be. And uh, that book is just, it goes into so much detail. It's amazing. I love reading it. What did I finish reading today? 
I just finished a chapter where the iPod was invented and like how he got iTunes going and everything. Dude is a genius, man. And it's sad that we lost him so early. And he felt he like in the book he said that he knew he was gonna die young. He was fifty something, I think. Died pretty young. That's young. Um Yeah, so he you know, innovator of our time, man. Innovator of our generation. Many people's generations, I should say. Uh, the greatest. Anyways, so the um, Blah, blah, blee, with a blee, with a blow. The studio's coming along pretty nicely. I'm starting to slowly move things around uh, to where they want to be. I'm actually going to need some help doing the one project I want for the main wall. And uh, I'm doing one of the other walls myself. But I had to order some stuff online to uh, finish it. And I don't know when that's going to come in. But... We'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. Studio's coming along nicely. That is Cosmo. He is lazy. I'm going to go ahead and go because I think somebody's calling me. And I better run over there. Anyway, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Music Monday channel. Subscribe to Cosmo's channel. Cosmo's channel because he's lazy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.